Jossie, not right now, thank you. Working at home. <laughs> yeah. the we all know that. what that's about by now. We all know what that's about. <laughs> I said to them, I'm going into an interview. Just give me 15 minutes unless there's a problem. <laughs> I Steve, think it's it, not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I know. He's been quiet all morning. Anyway, uh, welcome to another Screenfish one-on-one. -on -one. I am thrilled today to be here with the director of My Sailor, My Love, Klaus Haro, and its star, James Cosmo. Gentlemen, thank you so much for meeting with me. This is a, this is a pleasure. It is a pleasure to be with you, Steve. Thank you so it much. Is. Very kind. The film is beautiful. It is truly a wonderful piece. Um, oh, great. James, you're stunning in it. I mean, this is an incredible work on your part. Uh, and and Klaus, it's just, it's beautiful from start to finish. Um, starting with you, what was it that excited you about this particular project? Uh, there, was a, there were a couple of Finnish writers, Scandinavian writers that I wanted to work with, that I had worked with before, and I... I wanted to work with them for a long time and go get back to, to, to working together. And, and I suggested to them, let's, let's make a love story, which is not about first love, but about love at a stage in life when, when you, have, you have a history, when you've lived a life, and when you don't expect love to happen. And so they created these characters and they created these, these people whom I think were very relatable. And uh, the, the, I found the story extremely moving. And I said, what I would like to do is I would like to make a, an, an actor's movie, really, where the actors are in focus. A beautiful, visually beautiful movie as well, but a film where you really remember the actors when you leave the film. And I think uh, even if this film, it's, it's only about to open now in Toronto and it's our first live audience, but uh, I, I, that's what I hope to achieve that people, when they see the movie, they, would, they will remember these characters and these actors. Because oh, I think James, Breen and Catherine, I think you're extraordinary. They, they truly are. And this is your first live audience, did you say? Is, is it Tiff? Yeah, for this film, it is. It is. It's not been screened yet. We premiere in Toronto, uh, at the Toronto Film Festival, and so it's, it is very exciting. Wow. And uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, James, you and, and the rest of the cast, that's what stands out in the film and makes it makes it work, honestly, is your incredible performance um, as well. The relationships between the characters, this is this is what what simply holds it together. Uh, I was wondering well, how you both, oh, oh, it go ahead, was truly a, an ensemble piece, Steve. You know, it, yeah. it couldn't have happened if we hadn't um, built the relationship between the three main actors. Um, so uh, you know the the hopefully the sum of the parts was greater than 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 the parts but um i i i couldn't be i i felt so lucky and privileged um when i first met breed and catherine to realize that i was in the company of of truly wonderful actors and and we 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 bonded together so closely that um, you know, throughout the filming, there was almost a sort of an unspoken dialogue going on between us, um, and that's that's the, the beauty of a film like this. That it it is true. It was truly an ensemble piece. Not only the the all the actors, um, the main actors, and and people who played um, smaller parts, um, but. Obviously, Klaus had a huge influence on us all, uh, but right down to you know, well, not down to, but the cinematographer and and everyone, uh, we felt so supported um, throughout the whole process. It was it was a beautiful experience for me. It, it, yeah, I, I can tell you, Steve. I think I think what we had there was that when we, the crew and myself, when we saw what the actors started creating, how they got along you know, amongst each other, I think there was a respect, like, like, I think we all felt like there's something going on here now that we should really treasure and treat carefully and not go in there bluntly and, and, and you know, try to over-direct or, we, I think we just tried to create a space where, where you would feel that you can do your job, James. And, and, and I, if to some, somehow, if you can imagine, Steve, when you have James who's done 
like over a hundred films, that experience. Then you have Breed, who's a much loved, wonderful Northern Irish actress who has great experience both from films and on stage. And you have Catherine uh, with her background in the Royal Shakespeare Company. And you have all this talent and all this experience at your disposal, if you will. And then still together with this, like no egos, no, no, no big egos fighting, but just everything is put on screen. There's, there wasn't a lot of drama behind screen. All the drama you see is on screen. Mm. Mm. You, you can you can tell that. Uh, you, I mean, how it, it do, you can have the most talented cast in the world, but if they don't come together, That's it, right. it's it's meaningless. And and every yeah. scene, everybody is just so so tightly work or tightly close and working together. There's a genuine humility taking place on on screen. It's pretty remarkable. That's I think true. you're right there. And as a director, you know, you never know if that's going to happen or not. There's no magic to it or there's no, and even if directors always like to be in control, that's an element you don't control. You don't know how these actors are going to, you know, find their their characters. You don't know how they're going to trust each other. But once that happens, it's 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 really a gift, something you, something I value and 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 feel really grateful for. It's it's something to see. It is just beautiful. Um, James, coming back to you, there's there's an interesting line your character says in the film uh, as he's sharing part of his story, and and I just thought it it meant so much to the character. But I'd like to know what it means to you. Uh, at one point, your character says it gets harder and harder to come home. Uh, speaking as being a sailor, and then one day there's no grace at the gate. And I just thought, you know, this is this is a pretty significant phrase, not just because it's the name of your daughter, but just as a concept, especially with your character dealing uh, with its past. I was wondering, mm -hmm. for you and, and for Klaus, what do you think it means to have grace at the gate? Hmm. That's, a, that's a very interesting question, Steve. Um, that... Interesting that she's called Grace, isn't it? Yeah. Um, sorry, what were you going to say, Klaus? No, I said, I, I think you, Steve, you raised it to another level. I think when we work with it, we, we weren't as metaphorical or, 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 or even spiritual as, as, as you're suggesting now. But now as you mention it, yeah, you're, you're, you're right. There, there is that aspect of Grace. I mean, for me, Grace, I mean, obviously we're aware of that name and that she's a person who, who doesn't find grace in, in her father's eyes, but also she doesn't find grace in her own life. She's very hard on herself. She's very harsh on herself. You know, whatever she does goes wrong. And she sort of lives in a constant feeling of not, not you know, of, of, of needing to achieve and needing to somehow uh, be more than she is. So yeah, that's a lack of grace in your life, isn't it? So, so, so in that respect, yeah, there, there is that character. I, don't, I, I was never thinking of it before in this specific line of power that there's no grace at the gate, but that's right. That's, 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 but that's also the, the thing that sometimes a, a, a film takes a meaning, takes on a meaning that you did not, as a director, expect. And I think we're at that point with this no, that's, question. That, that, that's really interesting, Steve, that you, you mentioned that. And as Klaus says, it opens up a whole, which I am the same as you, Klaus. I wasn't, yeah, really aware of that, but but there is something there of 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 uh, a man who has um, taken himself away from from where he should be and yeah. finding it so hard to come back and and to find that special place, um, a lost soul, I suppose. You know, mm. who has yeah. lost the love of his his wife, whatever those circumstances were, and his daughter as well. You know, there's a there's a great. I think there are, that, that that's a really interesting uh, concept that you picked up on, Steve. Well done. Yeah, and I think I think what the writers wanted to explore very much was the the the, the fact how one person can be you know, show this face to one person and that face to another person so that 
to grace is like a rock almost, like like untouchable or, or you can't, someone you can't reach. And then to towards Annie, he's the most generous person, and he can open up and 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 you know really be a sharing and caring person. And isn't that often how we people are? Uh, that you know we, we with new relationships and new acquaintances, we, we 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 can show our best sides, but with people whom we'd lived a life with, it can be hard to to be generous and 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 sometimes you're very much aware of that yourself but still you can't change how you're you know you know what how would you like you would like to be but it's very hard to be that person sometimes isn't it mm -hmm. yeah that, that was yeah. one of the things i loved about the film is that this isn't just a romance the romance aspect is beautiful it's a it's a charming story uh we don't get to see as many stories like this about love, love later on in life. Um, mm. But there's this, uh, these characters, you know, uh, you know, Howard, his, he's, he is, he's delightful. He's charming. But with the woes, he has a, he has a history with yeah. the hurts mm. still under, under the surface, um, which adds such a different dimension to the storytelling. I thought it was, is really interesting. It's um, great. Yeah. I mean, I know we're we're starting to run out of time, but for you both, um, again, first audience, this is very exciting. What do you hope people take away from the film? I think um, that that um, uh, I think that if, if people can see that that these characters, these damaged characters. Um, and as Klaus says, showing different sides of themselves to to, to different people, but um, the you know that that compassion and understanding for people's faults, we're all fallen, um, yeah. but there is still the capacity um, to love, uh, even though we behave in ways that we shouldn't. Um, something in the human soul uh, cries out for compassion. Yeah, and, and when we're loved, we're able to love back. And I think what happens between Howard and Annie is maybe that he doesn't feel that pressure. He doesn't feel that criticism. So he's able to, to reflect that love back. But when from another person, you feel constantly challenged and constantly criticized, you know, you mirror that back. And 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 uh, yeah, so so for me, what I think we'll take away, or what I hope to, to take away, is somehow the concept of family, and people closest to us, and how we treat them, and and whether there could be a chance for reconciliation with those people that, that we need to to make peace with. And when we make peace with the people closest to us, especially our parents and our children, I think we find peace in our own lives as well. Absolutely. Well. To you both, I wish you the best of luck at the festival. It is a truly a wonderful you, film, and I really appreciate the chance to chat with you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank Steve. You. Pleasure. Thank you. Absolute pleasure. And uh, thank you, Kim. Thank appreciate you. it. Thanks so much. Uh, I'll send you the links when everything's up. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.